everyone, Randy here, and for a long time, everyone, I've been promising you a shop tour video. In fact, I started promising one, oh, I don't know, last year sometime. Uh, we started doing a lot of work on the shop here, uh, adding and fixing and cleaning and insulating, uh, doing a lot of work in here, just trying to make it a really nice uh, shop. And uh, yeah, again, like I said, I promised everyone a uh, shop tour here at... Uh, didn't actually ever happen last year, mainly due to the fact that I started working on a lot of tractors here. So, uh, and I'll have to tell you folks, uh, having this uh, shop uh, insulated and uh, kind of done up somewhat nice here, really made it a joy to uh, work in here. So anyway, everyone, uh, standing at the door here, this is the uh, the door to the shop here. Uh, we do have an electronic lock on it, by the way. Uh, it's an uh, electronic smart lock. Um, not sure I can necessarily recommend those. They... Uh, bit gimmicky, if you will. But anyway, that's where I'm at. I'm standing at the entrance of the door here. Uh, to my right here is a 12 by 12 foot door. So this is a, a big door here. Um, yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll just start on uh, this side here. Uh, we got the electrical panel, the uh, fan control, there's an outlet phone there. Uh, I got a storage locker here. Um, sitting down here, by the way, is a backup generator and some uh, stuff. Stuff. Uh, this, by the way, is a planter, by the way, uh, for do, like doing the garden, this uh, particular unit right here, for those who have never seen that, kind of cool. Uh, up in this locker here, just got a bunch of uh, odds and ends. Uh, you've got stuff like little small tube of silicone, various other goos and glues, um, some Gorilla Glue. Let's see what's here. I can get this open. Uh, O-ring kits up in there, as well as gasket material. That's what's up in that one. And by the way, everyone, this is probably going to be somewhat of a long video. Why can't I get this open? Uh, I think this is my wheel weights. Um, there we go. Which is probably why it's kind of heavy. Uh, wheel weights as well as the wheel weight pliers. So I got several different wheel weights there. Again, I typically change my own tires. Just a pair of welding gloves in that one. Actually, a couple pairs of welding gloves in that one. Uh, miscellaneous junk in that one as well. Uh, oh, valve spring compressor. Uh, let's see what's here. Ah, this is my uh, gear wrench set here. Uh, for those of you who have not seen these, I don't know what you'd call these, but these are. this is a socket set, but it's like a pass-through socket set. So uh, what size is that? Uh, three quarters. So that's a three quarter socket. Uh, but this is so you don't have to have a deep socket. Again, this can pretty much go over. I mean, you can put this however long the threaded portion is. It'll go all the way down because the, uh, the rod or the bolt will fit up through the center of there. So that's pretty cool. Um, Yes, and there's the, uh, the ratchet that goes with it, by the way. So, you know, rather than the uh, ratchet going into there, it goes around the outside of it. So that's what that is. Your wrench set there. Uh, basically, the story behind this one is I bought a Harbor Freight set. I uh, liked it so much, I went out and bought a larger gear wrench set. The Harbor Freight set only came with like, a, I don't know, half a dozen sizes or something like that. So, uh, down here, just some more uh, targets for shooting. That's mainly what's in that one. Um, mm, yep, won't, won't discuss that one. A uh, bunch of tools for working on engines and stuff. We got, uh, what is that, a brake bleeder kit. Actually, let me just pull that one out. Uh, AC clutch compressor removal tool, slide hammer. Um, that, I think, is a clutch removal tool underneath there. Uh, what is this one? I think this is a fuel pressure tester, I believe, in that one. And then going on down, same thing down here, uh, compression tester kit. Uh, let's see what's here. I forget what's under there. That one is a, well, I don't remember what that one is. What's here? What is in this one? Got a couple hones in there. Uh, that is a, oh, that's a fuel injection tester kit. Right. Okay. That's what's in that one. Set a couple homes, a valve lapping tool. This is for, oh, uh, is it steering? Uh, it's, yeah, steering part. Can't think of the name of it now. Ball joint, basically. Separate that. Uh, a couple of spring clamps here uh, for your uh, large springs on your vehicles. Can't think of the name here now again. But uh, yeah, that's what those are for. Uh, I believe that's a vacuum pressure tester. We got a sleeve tool there for installing pistons. And the bottom one's probably, you know, just got some garden stakes in the bottom one there. So that's that cabinet. 
Uh, looks like an electrical panel there, which uh, for those, I, I did videos on most of the upgrades we did on the barn here. So if you watch them, uh, we put in this, was this 20 again or 24? I forget, 20, I think, right? Uh, we used to have a panel that would hold eight, which was completely full. We could not put any more in. Uh, so yes, yeah, so this uh, 20 slot panel has been much nicer. We got now plenty of room for various circuits. Uh, we've improved or increased the number of circuits over here on the workbench. Used to be everyone, one circuit for everything here, everything. Uh, and then one circuit for the lights. Now we got, I think there's three circuits on the workbench there. Uh, circuit for the light and uh, I think, yeah, I think there's even actually a separate circuit for that over there if I remember correctly. So yes, uh, a lot nicer. Uh, two, we got two separate circuits for the uh, 220 volt. So there's a 220 here. Uh, not that one, the one that's back behind there. And then uh, 220 over there as well. So two separate 220s. Uh, been working out really nice. So uh, let's see what's going around here. We got this large locker. Um, and there's a bunch of stuff sitting on top there as well. Uh, firework tubes, uh, bushel baskets, a bunch of LED light bars. Uh, let's see what's here. Starting down below, I got my drawer of John Deere parts. So that's what's in that drawer. Uh, empty, just some rags, empty. This one doesn't really have that much in it. There's a lot of empty drawers in this one here. Uh, mag torch kit. This is a oxy, oxygen, oxygen and, uh, what is it now? It's got oxygen and, oh, yeah, yeah, the yellow tank in it there. So the map gas, oxygen and map gas. A couple water pumps there. Uh, some more LED lights. Like I said, I got a bunch of LED lights, everyone. Uh, little 12 volt heater there. Uh, defroster, actually. Uh, electronic actuator. Something a company sent me to review, but uh, I don't know how to, how to review that. And then, oh, garage door opener, piece from the garage door openers. Uh, yeah, these doors, by the way, have LiftMaster 8500s on them, so the door does open uh, another LED light. And what is in this one? Oh, uh, diesel injection kit, so you can check uh, diesel injectors. Uh, down here, got my hydraulic crimping tool as well as sandblasting stuff. I got two different sandblasters. Got, you can see there's the gun for the other one. And then this one is a gravity fed. Well, this one's suction. You can see there's the suction tube there. And then this one is a gravity fed. I like the gravity fed one better, by the way. It just, uh, it doesn't last very long, but if you ever need to do a little bit of sandblasting, those are really nice. Let's see, that one's empty. I got my paint stuff here as well as some other, other, other stuff. We won't go there. <laughs> Uh, we got paint mixing cups, uh, filters, all kind of paint stuff in there. This one here got the old electrical panel, uh, timing light, battery. I wouldn't even bother sliding this one out. Uh, two battery chargers. Uh, drawer for my truck parts here. I keep a spare air filter. I've got a last winter I had the heat and my truck go out. I ended up flushing it and I was able to get it working again, but I do have a spare heater core here if I need it. Uh, so far I haven't needed to do it, so I haven't changed it. Uh, just some battery, spare battery cable terminals and stuff like that. Don't necessarily go for the trucks, just I keep them in here with that. Uh, spare sensors, brake kit, starter solenoid. Uh, I've got a radiator hose here, the one on the truck's starting to go bad, so I got a new one there. Uh, when I feel like changing it, I can. Some spare bolts that fit the truck. I think that's about it, pretty much. Oh, some uh, spare spark plug wires. Oh, and lights. Yes, I do keep a full set of lights for the truck. So if I have a light bulb that goes out, I've got one right there. Uh, I don't think they have nothing in that one. Uh, starter for the truck. Uh, long story behind that one, but uh, yeah, we won't go there. Not in this video. I mentioned it before. So uh, lights, uh, front headlights for my truck. And up in here, we have my slide hammer set as well as my electrical connection kit. So real nice, those electrical, fully waterproof kit. That's it, that's in here. The top one is empty. Okay, and I'm thinking this is gonna be a really long video, so I'm gonna make a separate video on the tool chest. So tool chest, uh, there is uh, essentially three, I suppose you can even say maybe four separate tool chests here. 
We'll see, if I get time, I'll do that one in this video, but otherwise the uh, tool chest, I'm gonna do that in a separate video, because like I said, otherwise I think this video is gonna get a little long. Okay, so we're on to the workbench here. Uh, we doubled the size of our workbench here last uh, year. Uh, the original workbench used to end, I think it was, I don't remember if it was either that pole or this post. I think it was probably, no, I'd like to say it was that post. Could be wrong, everyone, I don't remember. It was either that post or this post here uh, is where the original workbench ended and then it ended by the uh, vise over there. So we extended the uh, workbench all the way to the wall there and all the way up to this uh, post here. So we basically doubled the size of our workbench and wow, everyone has that been nice. You can see it's already full of stuff. We got several projects uh, going on here. Of course, uh, the one project is the one on behind me here is the tractor. Uh, we also got a pressure washer sitting up there working on. Well, it's, uh, it, it's mostly, it's, What's left of it up there is gonna get thrown away, except for the uh, the motor and the, the pressure washer itself. We got a new pump coming for it. Uh, anyway, I uh, got a spray gun here. This is actually another spray gun. I just bought this one. Uh, this is just a Harbor Freight one. Uh, I got their other Harbor Freight kit one. Really liked it, it works pretty good. So I bought a uh, second one here. Been doing a lot of painting here with the, uh, the tractor projects and other stuff, so. Yeah, the other one's getting pretty messy. Uh, I mean, I do clean it, but uh, yeah, you, I don't know. Hard to get everything off. Uh, bent or yeah, oh, we call this a bench vice. I don't know. I guess it's a vice. Uh, this is a vice I made myself. Uh, it's 24 inches. Well, actually 24 inches from here to the end there, and plus another I don't know three or four here. So another three or four. So that's yeah, probably good 28 inches long there, and it can open up quite a ways. I built that for uh, pressing in stuff, and uh, just generally any time you really wanna you know put the squeeze on something, that'll that'll put the squeeze on something. Uh, it is built pretty heavy duty. So uh, let's uh, look up the pegboards here. So for a uh, solution for hanging stuff, we went with pegboards. Uh, kind of a reason for that is they are nice and uh, reconfigurable. Because again, everyone in a shop here, you're always buying new tools. And, you know, you, you don't just buy a set of tools and okay, I'm not buying anymore after that, right? Who does that? I mean, if you buy one tool, next thing you know, you're adding more and more and you need to be able to uh, grow with it. So the pig boards are kind of nice for that. Uh, anyway, got uh, large metric wrenches up here. Uh, two welding helmets, by the way, and welding coats. Uh, safety glasses, shield, uh, hard hat, uh, ear protection. Uh, metric and standard wrenches, stubby metric and standard wrenches. Couple pry bars, clamps, light bar, uh, welding stuff back there, brushes, chipping hammer, uh, ba uh, box of rags there. Got some miscellaneous uh, prying tools, scraper tool, uh, impact here. Uh, by the way, I should mention something here as well, everyone. Uh, when you're looking out at all these tools, by the way, these are not all my tools. Uh, there are three people's worth of tools in here. So for those of you looking at this and thinking I've got a lot of tools, I would agree. I do have a lot of tools, everyone. But again, not all of the tools you're seeing here are mine. So... Uh, yeah, there's, like I said, three people's worth of tools here. So when you're looking at something and say, why do you have three sets of uh, wrenches? Well, again, I've got a set, someone else has a set, and someone else has a set. So uh, that's why there's sometimes three sets of uh, tools here. And plus, it, it comes in handy sometimes having three sets of tools. You know, sometimes having two half-inch wrenches, uh, well, you want you need two half-inch wrenches. Or, well, I don't, can't think of a situation where you need three, except when you've misplaced the first two, <laughs> which <clears throat> happens. Uh, let's see, okay, moving on up here, we got our large standard wrenches, uh, we got pipe wrenches as well as adjustable wrenches up here, all large. Uh, we got some precision measuring tools here, uh, angle clamps, these are uh, magnetic angle clamps, so like when you're welding, uh, you can clamp a 90 degree angle. Uh, we got our ratcheting wrenches, these are just Harbor Freight brands by the way. Thing of Sharpies up there, those always come in handy in a uh, shop. Uh, more adjustables. Uh, this is a ruler holder, which also has a pen pencil holder in the back. Really like this thing, by the way. Actually has a sharpener there too. I never really tried that, but uh, I don't remember where I got that from. But uh, yeah, that's kind of handy. Uh, this here is our screwdriver and nut driver assortment here. So we got, again, as I was just mentioning, there's three sets of nut drivers here. Uh, back behind here, there's pokey tools, uh, chisels. Uh, these are kind of the uh, rubbish chisels, by the way, not the quite so nice ones. You know, things we can kind of pry with. We don't mind if they get dinged or banged up so much. Uh, knife there. Uh, we got Phillips screwdrivers. 
and then slotted screwdrivers. And then there's a couple specialty ones here as well. But uh, yeah, there's the screwdrivers, a whole assortment of those. Uh, again, like I said, everyone, not everything in this shop is mine. That's why there's so many sets of screwdrivers. If you notice, there's actually four sets. Uh, one is mine. I'll let you folks guess which set is mine. <laughs> How about that? Uh, there's a nice uh, D-Light. So for those of you who've seen, these are actually kind of nice. You can sit them on the floor and fold one up. The other, you know, the one side doesn't really do a whole lot for you, but the other side does. Uh, moving on here, large square, some clamps, uh, more clamps, uh, dead blow hammer, levels, uh, pliers rack. Ooh, this is really nice. Really like this, by the way. Uh, in fact, I want to get some more of these maybe. Uh, we got some more pliers we can hang up. Uh, again, talking about the pegboards. Have to reconfigure it somehow here so we can get the pegboard or get room for the pliers rack. Probably could uh, take this little battery shelf down. But uh, yeah, a little pliers rack here. You've got an assortment of pliers and uh, cutters in it, needle nose, that type of thing. i uh, got a little shelf for the chargers there. Uh, Milwaukee uh, DeWalt and then the Hercules charger. A uh, couple of my uh, DeWalt batteries sitting up there. Uh, let's see, also on the shelf here, got my uh, 3M Orbital Sander. Really, really like that. I've done a lot of stuff with that 3M Orbital Sander. That is super nice. The only thing I wish I would have done, I believe they make one that also, actually, no, I think it's pictured right there. That comes with a vacuum on it. Mine does not have the vacuum. Wish I would have got the one with the vacuum, but uh, I don't know. I suppose it'd make it a little more cumbersome to use as well. Uh, bolt depot. This is just a nut and bolt set. Uh, smaller machine screws. Uh, always constantly digging in this for, you know, a machine screw for something. Uh, these are just the stainless steel ones, so pretty much can use them anywhere. Um, let's see what's here. Uh, nut and bolt assortment here. More nuts and bolts assortment. If you folks want me to go through these, I mean, let me know. I, I can maybe do a separate video on that. Otherwise, again, like I said, this video might get a little long. Uh, there's pretty much nut and bolt assortments all the way down, starting from this end all the way down to here. So uh, let's see what's here. Pencils, knives, dust masks, uh, phone, clock that is usually never right. Another clock that doesn't work. I don't know why it's here. Should probably just get rid of it. Uh, let's see, going back up here, hammers, safety glasses, wire brushes, uh, miscellaneous stuff. There's a bearing hanging back there, electrical tape, painter's tape, duct tape behind it. Uh, more uh, metal type screws and miscellaneous screws like that. Uh, pop rivets next to it. I'm not sure what those chains are about there. Uh, I'm not even sure what some of this stuff is. Some more miscellaneous stuff back here. Looks like some patches and uh, steel wool. Oh, there's a lock and lube back here. Yep, lock and lube. Got that to put on the uh, Milwaukee grease gun. But for the life of us, everyone, we cannot get the original uh, grease end that's on the Milwaukee off without uh, probably seriously wrecking it. So we decided just to leave the original on, and then if we ever get disgusted of it, we'll uh, change it out then. Uh, various pins, rope, scrapers, suction cups, uh, a bunch of miscellaneous stuff there, trimmer. Uh, more safety glasses, brand new safety glasses, and various loom sizes. Uh, over here, moving on, we got various wires, uh, as well as a, a tape for fishing, fish tape there. Uh, let's see what's here. Yeah, hearing protection, uh, sharpening stones, a couple sharpening stones in there, uh, some wire, or some more, just you know, regular wire back there. Uh, holder for uh, propane and torches and stuff like that. Which uh, looks like it needs to be uh, slid into the wall a little bit more there. Let's uh, slide that back up. There we go. Uh, we got some large wire up there. There's some uh, four aught and I don't know what's that. Some four gauge, I think, and electrical. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of electrical up there. Uh, a couple of uh, drills here, which reminds me, I missed. Oh, I didn't miss the drills. They're not hanging up there, are they? Uh, DeWalt drill and impact, Milwaukee uh, impact impact and drill and uh just recalled here too i missed uh normally the hercules drill and impact uh sit over here by the way they're currently not up there because they are off but uh maybe i should mention what's on the workbench here as well walt impact again that's their older one doesn't quite have the oomph the newer one does but uh still does an excellent job by the way excellent impact uh power tester electrical tester uh some more safety glasses just sitting there here's the hercules drill use that uh, a fair amount uh, oh, I, and I do have some Bauer tools over here. Those are mainly just for review. Uh, so that's what's up with those. Uh, diamond cutting wheel there. Laptop really comes in handy out in the shop here when you need to look up parts. One big battery. 
Uh, got my uh, DeWalt grinder there. That's uh, that. That's cordless grinder, by the way. Let's see. Did I miss anything? Uh, let's see what's here. Uh, yeah, we'll go to the big tools here. Uh, six inch grinder here. Uh, that is a uh, Craftsman six inch grinder. That uh, sits up on the uh, workbench here. The uh, main grinder is back behind us on, I don't know, what do you call this? Kind of like an island here. I guess that's what you'd call it. A uh, small band saw there. A uh, small drill press. Uh, again, like I said, more nuts and bolts and miscellaneous hardware back behind there. Uh, drill bit set here. This is just a Harbor Freight drill bit set. Has all the uh, fractional sizes, numbered sizes, and lettered sizes. So pretty much uh, full machinist drill bit set there. May not be the highest quality for, you know, being Harbor Freight, but it has always gotten the job done. I've uh, been really happy with it. A uh, pair of calibers sitting under there, by the way. Uh, again, kind of ignore this mess. This is just a pressure washer that's uh, been strewn apart. The pump is uh, disintegrated. Suffice to say, everyone, uh, it wasn't working. Took the oil drain plug out here, and those fell out. Yeah, all those bearings. Not supposed to happen. Uh, up here, got uh, cordless uh, DeWalt reciprocating saw. Saw is all, as a lot of people like to call it. Uh, te technically, again, not really a saw is all. That's a uh, brand name. They are a reciprocating saw. Uh, normally, my grinder hangs there. Uh, we have a corded circular saw, uh, the DeWalt 60 volt cordless circular saw, and then a, a jig saw. Uh, here's the Hercules impact there. So that's where that is. Working on this uh, project here. Okay, over here, moving on. We got uh, more wire brushes and assorted hardware hones, some miscellaneous bolts. Should probably really get them into the bins there, but they're up here. Uh, I think that's another starter. Why do I have another starter relay for my truck? I should probably throw one of those away. Uh, sanding blocks, sanding stones. What do they call these actually here? So I guess they're a hand block, but it's, it's like a solid block of, whereas this is like foam, everyone. You know, once you uh, take that top layer off, it's done. This is sandable all the way through. Uh, just a three-way splitter for electrical. Fuse holder, relays, more relays, switches, uh, fuses. So those are 20 millimeter fuses. And I think the one next to here is 30 mil fuses. Yeah, so the 30 mil fuses there, they're a little bit longer. Uh, other various electrical connections, like I said, all kinds of this stuff in here. More of those, butt connectors, more electrical connectors, some large washers, uh, waterproof wire nuts, uh, some various drill bit ends, some more various uh, drill bit ends, some uh, spacers, a couple bends of spacers there. Uh, another dead blow hammer. Uh, I got two of these because this one here is, well, it looks like it's about ready to explode. So, uh, got a set of Allen keys here, Tecton Allen keys. Uh, missing two of them. Oh, there they are, probably right there. Uh, another set of wrenches here, uh, both standard and metric. In fact, uh, I think this is all metric here, so probably don't need the standard one out. Uh, another adjustable wrench. And uh, sorry, I need to make sure I remember to pan the camera down here. Uh, oh, bench vise here. Missed that. Yep, an official bench vise there. Uh, here we have 3 8 inch airline uh, on a reel, retractable reel. Uh, we have a, a 12 gauge electrical on a reel. And then up above it here, a half inch airline on a retractable reel. Really comes in handy, by the way. So, yeah, when you're, when you're serious about something, that's when you get that out. Uh, moving on, we got a uh, lathe here. This is, uh, what is the brand name on this here? Again, this is, hmm, I forget the brand name on this. It's been rebuilt, so it has a different uh, controller and motor and stuff in it. Uh, the original one kind of uh, didn't last so long, shall we say. So it's got uh, rebuilt, works really good with a rebuilt motor and a uh, new controller. Uh, back here, just a bunch of uh, hold down tools and clamps. Uh, some miscellaneous air hoses, wire. The, this particular pegboard really isn't filled out that much. In fact, you can probably tell that not much on it. And moving on to over here, this is where we keep all the paint. So various paint and then oils and more paint up above it there. And various other fluids too, I guess, because there's antifreeze there, filters, that type of thing. Uh, here's the uh, compressor, just a Harbor Freight compressor, by the way. Really good compressor, really been happy with it. Uh, yeah, works great. 
Uh, Harbor Freight uh, drill press, a uh, floor model, and then has a uh, milling table on it, so you can really get precise with it. Works really good for that. And then you can, uh, it has a drill press, everyone, so you can't really mill with it, but I um, mean, you almost can if you have to. So, uh, another pegboard here, we got various, you know, kind of garden tools, brushes, shovels, uh, hose mounted up there. Uh, going down to the next level here, we got some electrical cord. There's a big T square back there. So, there's the T square right there. Like I said, that's a T square. Uh, some more uh, clamps there. Uh, large half inch diameter hose, and there's three ace behind it. Uh, a long straight edge. Uh, this is a sprinkler there. There's a belt for who knows what. Uh, more electrical, and then the this is the part for my heater here, which reminds me we need to go underneath the bench yet. Look at the stuff that's underneath there. Uh, sledgehammer, sledgehammer axe, pickaxe, uh, more electrical, trouble light, which has an LED. Trouble light in it, by the way. For those of you who haven't seen that, you can get LED inserts for your trouble lights. Those are pretty nice. Although with all the you know the battery operated solutions, everyone are more with all the battery operated uh, solutions out there. Everyone, I don't really use the trouble light very often. Uh, more electrical, uh, great big 220. Well, it doesn't really have to be 220, but uh, it's a great big. Uh, I forget the gauge on this, but electrical extension cord, uh, 50 foot there, and then uh, some more air hoses back behind there. Oh, big pipe wrench as well. I don't know if folks see that there, but a great big pipe wrench hanging there. Yeah, that's a four foot pipe wrench. So that's, uh, you get that one out when you mean business. Okay, we'll go under the bench here now. Uh, starting right here, we have our air uh, regulator filter setup. Uh, we don't actually keep this attached to the compressor. And uh, there's actually a really good reason why here, everyone. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the further away you are from the compressor, the more the moisture, it cools down and you can get the moisture out of the air. If I were to put this uh, air or this moisture trap filter right on the uh, compressor, it would not do a very good job of getting the moisture out of the air. Whereas if we put it 50 foot from the compressor, you know, via a 50 foot hose, uh, this will get basically almost all the moisture out of the air. And then there's also an oil injector there as well. So for tools that take air oil, uh, it's got one of those on it. it has both the uh, the smaller end and then the larger half inch uh, hose end on it as well. So when you really need uh, air, and then uh, like I said, it's a combination filter and air, or not air separator, water separator, whatever they call that again. Everyone for it, uh, it takes the water moisture out of the air. Uh, that is an automatic draining one, it's supposed to automatically drain anyway. It doesn't necessarily always do that. Uh, a couple of welders here. We got a Rasmin. Uh, this is a combination stick, TIG, and plasma welder. Uh, works pretty good, although I've never tried the TIG portion. And then we got a Fournay, uh, let's see, this is multi-purpose as well. It does stick, MEG, and I think it does TIG as well, right? I think so. Doesn't it do TIG? Maybe it doesn't do TIG. Oh, yeah, no, it does too. Okay, I thought it did. Uh, again, I've never used the uh, TIG function, so... Uh, let's see, once I got the stereo there, uh, those are just the uh, cases down there. I don't know if you can quite see them. Actually, you know what? Uh, we got lights down here. We can turn them on. Oh, well, they're going to be RGB lights, but okay. Uh, got the cases there for the various drills. Every now and then, you know, when we're on a job, it's nice to just uh, put them in the cases, throw them in the back of the truck. You know, and they're just out in the shop here. Don't really need them, but uh, like I said, if we're taking them somewhere, it's nice to be able to throw them in the cases so the cases are down there. Uh, a set of precision calipers, or no, not calipers. Uh, let's see what's there, not calipers. Uh, ultra fine micrometers, yes, micrometers. Gotta get my uh, types of measuring devices right here. So yes, uh, micrometers there. Close that uh, back up for those of you not familiar with uh, micrometers, that's what those are. Uh, let's see, what is it? Uh, zero through six inches, you can measure that. Uh, we got another sander there, and then a belt sander below it, handheld belt sander, uh, handheld router, just a heater. There's the uh, TIG kits for both my welders, uh, a couple of saw horses. Uh, there's just some uh, miscellaneous containers down there. I don't think there's anything in any of them really. Uh, heaters are down underneath here. Uh, we have both a kerosene, actually, there's two kerosene heaters there. There's one behind this one, actually. Yeah, there you can see it. There's the other heater. And then uh, the Mr. Buddy propane heater there. 
And actually behind there, there's actually another uh, kerosene heater and then just a uh, sprayer there, a couple fans, a uh, step ladder that comes in handy when uh, having to reach stuff up way up high on the bench there. Uh, there's a uh, saw behind there and a bunch of just uh, miscellaneous pipe fittings. That is a, mm, I'm not actually sure what's in that box now. Not actually sure. Apparently it's heavy. Uh, corded sawzall. A uh, couple of tire chains and a bunch of corded grinders. Let's see if we can get around here a minute. Bunch of corded grinders there. Uh, we got a Black & Decker, and then there's the great big, uh, I think that was 9-amp, nine 9-inch nine uh, Harbor Freight grinder. And then there's another, where's the other grinder? I think it's probably sitting underneath. There's another just smaller four and a quarter grinder under there as well. Uh, there's also a sander there, belt sander, handheld belt sander. There's the uh, fire extinguisher. A uh, bunch more hardware here, just uh, miscellaneous hardware. We got clamps, uh, hinges, more clamps, uh, some electrical stuff, some big fuses, and uh, I think there's more relays in there as well, I think. Yes, full of relays. Uh, more of just those style clamps. Some uh, drawer slides. Some miscellaneous stuff. I think that's like a timer, some rubber. Oh, actually, you know what? These here, everyone, uh, we got these. These are vibration dampening pads. We got those mounted underneath the uh, compressor there. Always that compressor used to like to walk across the wall, uh, the floor. But uh, since putting those on, that's taken care of that problem. More drawer slides and some large nuts, bolts, hardware, lag screws, stuff like that. And in that mess, a bunch of uh, miscellaneous steel, scrap pieces of plastic, wood, paint trays. I'm not even going to bother getting into that. Uh, underneath here, we got uh, jacks, uh, hydraulic jacks. There's a chop saw back underneath there. Uh, let's see, there's my main painting kit. And then a large half-inch, no, three-quarter inch drive set. Three-quarter inch drive set in that one. That is, I think that's the standard set. Large three-quarter, standard deep socket. Actually, you know what? Let me get this one out here, everyone, because you folks might like to see this one. Let's see what's here. Ooh, that's, it's, it's heavy. So there we go, everyone. The large three-quarter deep socket standard set. So again, I don't know what, what's the start at. Uh, 13 sixteenths all the way up to two inch. Of course, comes with a ratchet, breaker, bar extension, two extensions, and what is that? Oh, an adapter. Okay, and then uh, moving up from the uh, lower part here to the next uh, shelf up, uh, we got more three-quarter inch drive sets. There is a, and I don't know which one's which, but there's a metric and a standard, and then the red one here is metric, both uh, standard depth, not uh, deep sockets. Uh, Milwaukee 20, well, actually 18 volt, I guess. Milwaukee 18 volt cordless greaser, uh, grease gun there. We got a one inch socket set. That's that right there, one inch socket set. I don't remember what sizes that comes with again, but uh, let's see, can I open this without taking it out? Yeah, hopefully you can see them in there. One inch sockets. Those are some big sockets. Uh, Irwin tap and die set here. This is the uh, 76 piece, comes with all the uh, the taps and dies from, uh, was it number four to half and three to 12 meter, uh, 12 millimeter uh, tap and die. And then underneath here's a metric uh, machine screw set. So it's a metric. Uh, we've seen the standard one up on the workbench there earlier. That's just a metric version of it. Uh, okay, under here some more uh, miscellaneous scrap steel, large tub, uh, portable air tank, and there it is the uh, one inch air impact. Again, that's just the Harbor Freight, and wow, that thing is, uh, is that a beast? Oh, just a random light that's uh, laying down there as well. Oh, uh, let's see, moving on. Like I said, I will uh, cover the, uh, the tool chest here in another video. I think I'm gonna hold that one for the other video there as well, because I think this one's probably getting a little long at this point. Uh, next set of shelves here. Uh, mostly oils, lubes, miscellaneous stuff like that, cleaners, uh, sprays. So again, uh, there's various transmission fluids up top here, as well as some, uh, I'm not even sure what else. Actually, I think it's mostly transmission up there except for the rust stuff there, which is in that gray container. Uh, some Plasti-Dip there. 
Um, there's some miscellaneous parts for other stuff up there as well. Uh, we got some two-stroke oil mix. Uh, like I said, just a lot of oil, grease, uh, fuel tank sealer, some more transmission, engine oil, uh, some various sprays, some uh, various fuel additives there, power service. Uh, more oil over there. Uh, we'll start back on this side here in a minute. Uh, you know, acetone and mineral spirits, paint thinner. Oh, what was that for? <laughs> Not sure why I just did that. Uh, some gunpowder. Uh, there should actually be more gunpowder than that up here. Oh, am I out? Ooh, wait, no, there's more gunpowder back there. Uh, rust converter, fogging oil, starting fluid, carb cleaner, brake cleaner, white lithium grease, engine degreaser, penetrating oil, PV blaster, liquid wrench. There's uh, more starting fluid. There's some barn chain back there. That's the, that one right there. What else do we got? Anything else interesting up here? Some sea foam, some more starting fluid, more uh, gunpowder. Uh, this, I think, is, uh, oh, what do they call this again, for the motors that have, yeah, mass airflow sensor cleaner there. Got some of that. Uh, just some more stuff over here. Brake fluid, assembly lube, fix-a-flat, uh, tapping fluid. So heavy-duty cutting fluid there. We got some uh, rapid tap, WD-40, more brake fluid, starting fluid, uh, a couple oil cans, more WD-40, some uh, various WASP stuff. Uh, we had a pretty good problem with that uh, last year with wasps, so uh, we got several cans of it. We're, uh, we're stocked up. There's actually more around the other side there. So we're, we're stocked up and ready for them this year. Uh, some uh, various glue there for uh, PVC pipe and stuff. Uh, let's see, down here, some uh, water. Yes, that's water in there. Uh, window cleaner. I think this one here is soap. No, this one here is the soap. This one actually probably what it says, Roundup. That's probably what's actually in that one. Some uh, purple primer there. Uh, various funnels, uh, some hydraulic jack oil, and for uh, air oil, just some uh, roof cement that's probably no good. It feels like it's uh, pretty well dried up. Uh, various uh, vacuum attachments, uh, trimmer there, a couple small grease guns here, a couple of the, like the small ones. Uh, another uh, couple grease guns here, uh, air powered one, and then also just a regular hand pump one. Uh, slow moving sign. Oh, up here as well, before I forget. Uh, we got a couple pry bars up there. Actually, several pry bars up there. There's what, uh, two, three, four, three pry bars up there. There's that one. We've got a handled one. And then a great big monster pry bar up there. So that's what's uh, up there. Uh, anything up on here? Yeah, some, just some oil here. Another LED light. Some uh, headlights. Some more headlights. Oh, here's some of the uh, plates for that cedar. If you remember in the beginning of that video, that cedar I showed, that's the plates right there. So plant a different crop. And these are actually some seeds right here for the, uh, the garden that's in that tub there. Uh, creeper there, that's a creeper. Uh, another creeper on this side. And uh, what's on this shelf, well, or on this uh, workbench, I've discussed most of this before, this is for the uh, tractor again, that's uh, behind me right here. That's what most of that stuff is for. Uh, my good welding helmet, helmet. this is an Optrel welding helmet. Really, really like that helmet. Uh, definitely recommend those if you're all looking uh, are in the market for a good one. Uh, Troll does make some nice ones. Uh, let's see what's here. Just some more garden stuff up on this shelf. Uh, 200 foot uh, air hose reel. So that's uh, when we got to go up to the house with air. Drag that all the way up to the house. So it's, it's on a reel there. That reel is unfortunately broken. That's just a homemade. We made that one. A couple of sheets of uh, plastic there. And uh, yeah, somehow I think uh, was it cold out? It cracked. It's the problem with plastic when it gets cold, it cracks. Uh, like I said, I'll cover this one in uh, in the video when we uh, look at the tool chest here, because again, there's a lot of stuff in that one. Uh, vacuum here, large vacuum. Uh, old compressor. Uh, this one's kind of worn out, I guess you could say. Uh, another vacuum, a uh, little work table here. Kind of comes in handy. Uh, Harbor Freight 20 ton press. Uh, a couple of great big, these are 12 ton jack stands. Wow, and uh, those are nice jack stands, by the way, everyone. If you're looking for some nice big jack stands, those 12 ton big red jack stands, they are nice. A uh, couple of uh, car jacks there. I uh, got the aluminum one and the steel one. Aluminum is really nice if you got to carry one. Uh, just a bunch of fuel. Anyone uh, know what the three different colors are for? I guess, well, you should be able to tell it. It says on them. Well, at least it says on the, uh, the two of the colors there, it says what they are for. But uh, yeah, three different colors, three different fuel types, by the way, for those you don't know. 
Uh, you folks leave it in the comments if you know what the uh, three are. Uh, let's see, transmission jack, spare tire. Uh, that's a spare tire for my truck, by the way. Uh, great big American flag up here, by the way. Can't go wrong with that. Also, a uh, really nice uh, Michigan flag over there. And uh, another one over there, too, I might add, in case I forgot to uh, miss those. Uh, a couple tire changing irons there, tire irons. And uh, just some miscellaneous stuff up here. A couple bolt cutters, uh, levels, a couple big saws back there. Uh, this is a tire balancer here, by the way, so balancing the tires. Yeah, I think that's about everything there. Okay, so everyone, I think that is the uh, shop. Hopefully I didn't uh, miss anything or skim over anything too quickly. I tried to keep it moving here, everyone, because again, there's a lot of stuff to cover. Oh, you know what? I did completely forget something here. This one here. Uh, yes, we've got a belt sander here with a circular sander on it as well. Uh, got a large saw. That is a, a 12 inches to Harbor Freight. Really, really like that saw, by the way. Really good uh, purchase there. Underneath here, we got a uh, table saw and then a router table. Oh, sorry about the uh, movement there, everyone. So there's a router table and a, a table saw there. And then over here, we got a uh, metal cutting saw, a metal cutting saw. And then the, uh, the grinder here I mentioned a few moments ago, kind of the main workhorse grinder. This one is bolted to it. Uh, this is an eight inch grinder, although it looks like it's down to about six inches now. <laughs> Might be time to get a new wheel for that. So yeah, like I said, there again is the uh, table saw, which is underneath there. That's an old, I think that was Craftsman table saw. That's like probably 75 years old. And then a router table. There's a router mounted to it, by the way, as well. Got that uh, router free from work. Uh, old one they were throwing away. I think, was there, was there a problem with the switch with it? I think there, there was something wrong with it. I don't remember what everyone got it for free and it happens to fit my router table. So it sits mounted on there. Oh, and there's another vacuum there too, by the way. Okay, so let's uh, try this again, everyone. Is there anything else I missed? Um, yeah, a large, uh, large TV up there, by the way. I did a video when we mounted that. That is a 65 inch 4K TV. Uh, some brand I never heard of got it really cheap, and I do mean really cheap for a 4K 65 inch TV. <laughs> you probably won't believe the price I paid for it. We got it cheap. Uh, there is a fan up there as well. That comes in handy when it's hot in here. And then uh, the stereo system is there as well. TV is hooked up to the stereo, by the way, so you can uh, get the sound from the TV through the uh, stereo. Oh, there's also air filtration mounted that up there as well. So there's an air filtration system up there. Uh, for the size of the shot, by the way, that probably is, that doesn't, and it needs to be a little more, I think, again, like I said, for the size of the shot to uh, do a good job filtering, but it does work. as evidenced by the fact I've had to uh, clean the filters on it quite a few times now. Uh, only use that when it's like dirty, messy out. Uh, so yeah, I think that is everything, everyone. Hopefully, like I said, didn't miss anything. Uh, lights, we have all LED lights above here, by the way. Again, I did a video when we installed those, I believe. Uh, one other actually light we do have here. We can turn even more light on. Old uh, LED light bar mounted up there. So like when I'm working on like a carburetor or something, you really want some light, turn that on and you really, really got some uh, light there. And this one here is for the lights underneath the workbench, which are supposed to shine white, by the way, but they do do RGB as well. So you can change them any color you want. Apparently they are stuck on the RGB mode at the moment. Uh... That just uh, increases the uh, performance of the shop, right? I believe that's what that does. Uh, anyway, like I said, everyone, I think we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, you have any comments or questions, uh, something you'd like to see more of, uh, let me know. Throw it down in the comments below. And, yeah, this is the uh, the shop here. So thanks for watching, everyone. Like I said, uh, again, comments, leave them down below, and uh, till next time.